Finally, Chevrolet has published the full online configurator for the all new 2021 Chevy Tahoe and of course the brand new Suburban as well. In this video I'm going to show you all the options and for the first time we can see all the colors available, all the wheel options, uh, but there are also a few surprises. I've been following this news every single day trying to learn everything about the new Tahoe and Suburban but I'm still a little bit surprised by the engine options and some of the wheel and tire combinations that Chevrolet is offering. So let's dig into it straight away and build uh, one of the more affordable Tahoes first. Then I want to build a Z71 Special Off-Road Edition and then we'll also um, build a couple of Suburbans together and to just kind of learn everything about the new Tahoe and Suburban. So when you go to Chevrolet.com, right here, now the configurator is online and you can see that it all starts with a two-wheel drive LT. There's actually going to be four trim levels on the new Tahoe and Suburban. LT, Premier, Z71, which is four-wheel drive only, and of course High Country is their top-of-the-line model. And the new Tahoe is all new. Um, it rides on the new um, T1 truck platform that's also shared with the Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra. Here are a couple of different looks at the new Tahoe right here, including the interior. The interior is all new. It's now more roomy for people and cargo. The wheelbase is a tiny bit longer. The overall length is longer. They're using independent rear suspension. Um, and if you watch some of our other videos, you know all the details about this because the independent suspension in the back allows them to drop the floor, making the passengers more comfortable in the rear. Um, and of course, the latest technologies are here, 10.2 inch infotainment screen, all of that is there. But if you start with a 5.3 liter V8 LT two-wheel drive, the starting price is $55,095, as you can see right here. And this is including the destination freight charges. But a pleasant surprise right here, the destination charges are $1,295. If you know big trucks, usually the destination charge is something like $1,500, $1,600, sometimes even more. So seeing this lower number is already a pleasant surprise, and it's basically a $55,000 vehicle two-wheel drive. Of course, two-wheel drive is not enough, so if you select four-wheel drive, the price goes up precisely $3,000. So that's not a huge upcharge. It is an upcharge, and it's a very sophisticated four-wheel drive system uh, for high, for low, um, is available as well. Uh, but the LT is only available with a 5.3 liter V8, um, which is made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission, as you can see right here. Um, this engine is familiar. It's also available on the Silverado. 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque. The 10 speed is the only option, 8 speed, 6 speeds, none of those transmissions are available in the Tahoe. I like that actually, they're simplifying their offerings, it's a little bit easier to understand um, and see exactly um, what that brings us. Of course, Z71 is my favorite because it makes the whole truck, and I'm going to call it the truck because it's based on the truck, just more macho. Uh, you can see right here on the screen. Um, you're getting special uh, treatment, special grill, Z71 badging, uh, skid plate up front, red tow hooks, a special wheel, and then a very aggressive tire combination right here. So uh, you, you're getting quite a lot. You're also getting special uh, off-road modes. And we haven't driven the new Tahoe and Suburban yet. We're hoping to do that very soon. So stay tuned for that. Those videos are coming uh, to either TFL Truck YouTube channel or uh, also uh, on TFL Off-Road YouTube channel. One thing I'm a little bit uh, disappointed by, the Z71 Tahoe and Suburban are only available with a 5.3. You cannot get that beefy off-road version with a 6.2. Um, Premier version, by the way, the Z71 starts at 60495 So that's already a $60,000 um, Tahoe. Premier version just adds a little bit more luxury features, starts at 66 895 Finally, the High Country. Um, this is basically a new trim for the Tahoe and available also on the Suburban. Um, has a 6.2 liter V8, also a 10-speed. 
And right now, the diesel is not available. They said the three liter straight six diesel will be available. Right now, it's not in the configurator. So uh, we don't know exactly how much it's gonna cost. It's likely gonna cost the same as a 6.2, but right now we quite don't know. So here's another look at this Tahoe High Country. And uh, well, let's just go to the colors because it starts with black. Satin still metallic is a color I quite like actually. Of course, it looks different on the computer uh, or and, and then when you actually take it outside and actually see it in the real world. But right here on the computer image, it looks pretty nice. There is Summit White, there is Shadow Gray Metallic. It's gonna take a little while to load. Go on. Empire Beige. I'm not a beige guy. Midnight Blue. The blue, this blue is a little bit too dark. Um, actually, gray with metallic. And those are all standard colors across the Tahoe and Suburban range. There are seven color options. Then there are two premium colors and this cherry red. Wow, um, I think that could be the color um, I would choose. Um, and probably with a Z71 package. And of course there is Iridescence Pearl Tricoat White. Um, and that's a $995 option. So let's choose that. And then in the interior, I really like two-tone um, kind of effect. So this jet black mocha, I like coffee as well. Uh, this is just top notch. I, I really like the way this looks. So you can actually see it right here. Um, uh, the dash of course is fully redesigned. Um, the Tahoe has push button control for the transmission, which I'm not quite sure about, but I haven't driven it yet. So I'm not, certain exactly how I can get used to that, but the materials look really premium. It's really well done. Um, so let's just kind of, let me show you just what else is available. Panoramic power sunroof, power retractable assist steps. I mean, this is the premium package on the high country, so you're actually adding even more luxury features. And I really like the max trailering package. They also announced the towing numbers. It's between about 8,200 pounds and about 8,400 pounds. So it's not class leading towing numbers, but GM and Chevrolet are very, very serious about towing. And I'll show you that in a second because uh, of course, 360 degree cameras, towing checklists. So everything, almost everything that's available on the Silverado um, is available here as far as towing technologies, hooking up um, the trailer. And of course, there is an additional option which is actually tire pressure monitoring system for the trailer, which is a very sophisticated uh, system, which actually ties into the truck. So, uh, so that's very important. You can monitor your trailer tires, not just your Tahoe or Suburban tires. And look at this, the high country has, what is this? Eight different wheel options, eight. They're all 22s. So you'll be riding in style. Um, I mean, you can, I don't know, eight choices, it's just huge. So here you can see all of it. Most of them are about $1,800 additional. So you are paying quite a lot of money for a lot of these wheel options. I'm gonna choose this one and everything else is almost checked off. I like this option. This is the illuminated bow tie emblem, 450 bucks. If you're going for this $80,000 Tahoe, might as well really like that option because at night it makes the vehicle stand out in a very big way. Highway safety kit, um, just one additional thing. And here's the tire pressure monitoring system for the trailer. Um, so got to select that because you want to be the most safe and most capable. And, and all Tahoe's will tow just over 7,000 pounds or about 7,500 pounds, which is um, actually a pretty good rating uh, just for the base version as well. Finally, rear seat entertainment, which is dual screens in the back. Um, and yes, you can kind of nitpick and get some of the other options like the floor liners, but the final price is just a hair over 84 grand. So yes, a fully loaded high country Tahoe, $84,000. Um, and once again, let me show you the interior, just another look at the interior because this two-tone black and mocha looks, I think, really great. Just check this out. It's right here. And you can see you can get either captain chairs 
or a bench seat in the back. It just depends on which trim level you purchase. Um, so that's, that's it right there. So let's switch to the Suburban really fast. I want to show you some of the options in the Suburban um, and also talk about one other small disappointment that I found specifically with the Z71 version of it. So the Suburban starts at 56,500 before destination versus 53. So the Suburban is about $2,500 more, maybe just a little bit more than the Tahoe. So you're paying for that extra wheelbase, extra size, extra length, um, and extra accommodation in a Suburban. And it's, it's gigantic. It's just, it was big before, now it's even bigger. And so it, it could make for a great road trip vehicle for sure. So I want to build a Z71 Suburban because why not? If you're going to go overlanding camping, this must be the choice. It already looks pretty good, especially with the beefy tires. Um, not a huge lift um, and we don't know enough, a lot, I don't know a lot about all the suspension modifications, but the Z71 usually comes with special tuning. Um, so I'm really looking forward to driving the suspension system uh, in the real world. One, one, like I said again, 5.3 liter is the only option for the Z71. I wish the big engine was available. Maybe, um, uh, maybe they'll do it later. Uh, color, gotta go cherry red. Uh, there is no other way about it. Uh, but, but here's the thing, when I, when I go to packages, um, and I like actually the Z71 signature package, um, it adds a panoramic sunroof, which is a nice option for outdoors, and it also comes with all of this extra equipment you could see here. Surround vision cameras, 360 degree. I mean, you could see all, the, it's like 20 different items on this list for about $4,700. But when you go to the wheel and tire package right here, it's only available with a 20 inch wheel, 20, 20 inch by nine inches. And I, I was hoping it would also be available with an 18 because uh, for off-roading especially, you want a bigger sidewall, not just a big diameter wheel, but, the, but actually a bigger tire um, for more comfort and actually so you can air it down just a little bit more. and you know, maybe do some more serious off-roading, but maybe the Suburban is just just too big for that serious off-roading. So it might be just enough to have a 20-inch wheel. I was just hoping for more options. The High Country has eight wheel options, so how come the Z71 only has one? I don't get it. Uh, once again, every the option kit is similar. There's another really interesting thing. Um, for 135 bucks, you can add a little emblem light that shines down from the mirror on the ground, you can see here. So it adds, adds a luxury touch to basically any Tahoe you can configure, um, and Suburban. So that's kind of a little premium luxury touch. And of course, at $68,000 um, or just over that for this particular Z71 Suburban, um, you're in the luxury ter territory, at least in my opinion. So now you guys see what's available for the new 2021 Tahoe and Suburban, all the options. The three liter diesel will come later. Uh, when that's updated, we'll let you know, of course, on our website as well. So go back to tfltruck.com for the latest news views and real world reviews. And uh, of course, SUV, full-size SUVs like this Tahoe and Suburban.